Hey all, Sebs again, uh, just doing a quick guide on some uh, unspoiled nodes. How to set them up, the markers, locations, that sort of thing. Um, I do have some set up on this character already, but I'm going to show you how to make them. And um, we're going to start with locations. Um, locations, well, we'll start with a quick breakdown. Um, first of all, you need to have uns check unspoiled nodes. Uh, use cordials is optional. Um, and I'll go a bit deeper into that later. But uh, the minor and botanist gear sets very important. If you're going to swap um, gear sets during swapping um, nodes, so uh, go from mining to botany and back, you need to know which set is where. So it's just as simple as opening your gear sets and mining is number one on mine and botany is two. If, uh, if they're not set up right, it's not going to swap. <clears throat> All right, setting up locations. It's basically uh, what time and where you will need to go. So it's actually linked in part to uh, the marker manager. So what we're going to do is around this area, I've got one over that way and one just over that way is some mining markers, uh, unspoiled markers for clusters. Um, if I actually, what I could do is set them up with one marker each, but if I set one up about here, I can actually get them both in one. So I'm going to open your markers and we'll create a new marker here. doesn't matter what you call it. As long as you call it something. All right, uh, level 50 is fine. Uh, the minimum GP, this is where the cordials come in. Um, the minimum GP you want to use depends on what skills you want to use for the node. Um, if you set it at 500 and you get to the node and it's less than 500 um, by a certain amount, I'm not sure the exact amount, it used to be 50. If you're under that amount, you'll use a cordial to get back up above it. Um, if it's less than 50, then you'll actually just wait. You won't waste the cordial. Um, Priority items. To find them, um, rather than wasting time just opening the nodes, I use a website. Um, these are the websites I use. You can see it in the list there. Um, what tells you everything you need to know. It's the time it's available, what you're mining, what slot it is, um, the map and the coordinates. And as you can see here, what we're looking for is the 2812 and this one here, the 2710 which is up that way and just over that way. So they're the two I'm looking at. <clears throat> uh, and depending on what you want to mine, uh, let's say you want to do water cluster at slot five. So our priority will be slot five. Um, gather maps, even if you could get them, I wouldn't waste the swing on it. Um, and whether there's ch uh, chocobo food or anything like that, that's up to you, personal preferences. Skill profiles, I have my own, <laughs> yeah, I have a lot, um, and just set it that way. So uh, that is the marker set up, it's reasonably simple. Now we have a marker set up, we can uh, specify what we want to do. So we're going to call this one uh, just one for simple simplicity. It's a 24 hour clock, so this one's going to be there at two o'clock, and that's one o'clock, and that's midday. So we're just going to make it for there. This is just random stuff. What class you're going in as, this is a mining uh, position, so we're going to set it to minor. And the marker, that marker we just made was number one. Is this idle? No, it's not idle. This is an active node. Um, what uh, the idle positions are, is it? Well, where, is where you go when you're not mining an active node. So you can set it up to farm shards or anything you set it up for. Um, it's entirely up to you or you can set it in a city and it won't farm anything. We'll just wait. Um, now that that's set up, you just add your location. So here, number one at 1300, which is 1 p.m. Marker number one, minor, all that sort of stuff. So that's all in there. So this is going to my idle position. Uh, as you can see, it's called idle water. Um, what it's going to do is uh, farm a normal marker 
I'm currently in botany mode. Um, so we'll go to our marker manager and have a look at the botany 50 marker. Um, you set it up just like any other node. It currently hasn't got anything set up. So we're going to go uh, slot 5. And that should start farming water shards. Now uh, for our skill profile you can change that here as well. Um, you obviously don't want to use your unspoiled for farming shards. Um, and that's it. That's a simple what it will do, it will keep farming here until it's uh, time to teleport, which is uh, about two hours in game time. There you go, it's farming shards. That's, uh, that's your idle locations. Um, as I said before, you can set it up so that you're just idling in a city, not farming, but it's a waste of time if you ask me. And it does look a bit suspicious. <laughs> While we're um, waiting for this next node to pop up. I'll teach you a little bit about altering uh, some of these nodes or locations specifically. <clears throat> what you can do is uh, Ace has actually added a couple of save or remove options. Um, you can remove the location, you can move your location to the current map we're on, or you can alter it such as enabling and disabling it without changing the location. So if you uh, don't want to go to the map to turn it off all you have to do is disable it and then save location and that's it if you click on uh, move location by accident you're going to have to go back and uh, change it and that's uh, that's how you use those settings so we'll re-enable that one skip your head a little bit just there um, and it's just teleporting to our new location, which is uh, back to farm those crystals or clusters. So we're just coming up to our marker now. All those stealth kicking. And off we are, off to go get that marker. So this one, unspoiled marker was botany, so it should start, uh, farm slot five. There it goes, there's my clusters. My uh, unspoiled skill profile has been selected and I've got, uh, if it finds clusters, it will use certain, uh, certain skill. And that's where the minimum GP comes in here. And that's how you do unspoiled. This is now moving to uh, the next location. Um, and now it's gone back to farm more water shards. Uh, and just remember that you can set up these uh, markers however you like. So uh, we're gonna go change this um, water shard marker and we're going to put crystals in there as well. <laughs> 